Hi, I'm Henry Chesbro. I'm a professor at the Haas School of Business at UC Berkeley and the author of the book Open Innovation. I want to talk to you a little bit about this model and this book. It's a way of companies doing innovation in R&D that where they make much greater use of external ideas and technologies in their own business and in turn let their unused ideas be used by others in their business. The old model of innovation was a closed model of innovation. Think of a product development funnel turned on its side where ideas come from a science and technology base are winnowed down and selected and taken to the market. This is a classic technology push model. It worked very well for a long time in many industries, but these days there's too much useful knowledge available in too many areas all over the world to try to do it all yourself. Instead, what we need is an open model. So now we still have in the open innovation model an R&D funnel turned on its side, but you'll see there are many more pathways into the model for ideas to come in, not only from inside, but also from the outside. And in turn, when those ideas are taken to market, some of them go through to the company's own processes, but others go through other processes, think of licenses, spin-offs, or joint ventures, to get to the market. So in the open innovation model, it's much more open coming in and much more open coming out. So look about, at some examples of this from companies that I've had a chance to work with. One company would be Intel, uh, the semiconductor company. They do a great deal of internal R&D. But in addition, they leverage and complement that internal R&D with an extensive set of programs to identify, recognize, and then transfer external ideas from technologies, from universities, startups. So they bring in a lot of external stuff to complement their internal R&D. In turn, they build platforms for others to build upon and take advantage of their technology. So they try to construct an ecosystem around their technologies. So they would be one good example. A second example, also in the computer industry, would be IBM, where IBM, like Intel, has a strong, extensive internal program of R&D, but they leverage and extend that by partnering with open source software projects, for example, think of Linux or Java, and then building complementary goods that build on top of that, and then wrapping around that their IBM Global Services offering that install all of that on the customer's premises to the customer's requirements. IBM also does a lot to let their unused ideas go to the outside. They have a very active outbound licensing program. They work with other companies and allow them to use IBM facilities to make semiconductor chips. So they've really become much more open both coming into IBM and going out. And this is not restricted to high tech. Procter & Gamble in the consumer packaged goods space has also created a program of open innovation. They have a very strong group of technology scouts that go out and look for external ideas to bring into the company. They also do a lot with their unused patents to let others make use of them with Procter & Gamble. So whether it's in high tech or consumer packaged goods, open innovation is becoming a much more powerful force in how companies are doing innovation. And this brings us to UTech. UTech has been one of the pioneers in helping companies lift technology out of universities and putting them into companies. Unlike university tech transfer offices, UTEC's processes are much more flexible and geared to the needs of startup companies that might be looking for new technologies but can't afford to pay the ongoing royalty payments that universities insist upon. In addition, UTEC has a number of services that they offer that help larger companies that are more established evaluate what unused ideas and technologies that they have that might be very valuable in a market to somebody else that aren't being used internally. So whether you're bringing ideas from outside from the university or looking to get value out of internal ideas being taken to the outside, UTech has a variety of services to, to help and assist in that. I've joined them as strategic advisor and I'm excited about working with them and taking the open innovation model further into the future. Thanks.